who speak of the strength or the philosophy of Ibri, from which they translated the Bible, transliterated, and deliberately left a lot of stuff out, and they killed off the feminine side because for the popes to rule, they have to kill the, 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 the nature principle of true religion because they can't rule. If you understand, that's all the people that is translated out of out of out of Hebrew, out of uh, Hebrew, and out of uh, Greek. And, and it sounds like they said something they didn't say anything. They supposed to tell you that translation of transliteration, and that you cannot translate it out of the Hebrew because all ancient culture is a masculine and feminine principle conjoined as one. And you move one, you just lie. And that's why people don't understand that Bible. Don't mean that they can't get things out of it. And it doesn't mean that they can't get some basic philosophical understanding, but they don't know what it is, which is another reason why these people, even when they're talking about the heat, no one knows the day and the hour and God's going to destroy the world. No, it's, that, it's not where that came from. It came from them closing the temple if you didn't get there in time. And they've converted into totally something else. Interesting thing is that all the priests know, all the rabbis know, all the imams know. Again, why they got their degrees, why they got the titles. And while the world is awry, they sit and watch this confusion and problem off of And then point at the, at the devil, which is a myth that they made a world. That's why Dwali said, in order, you know, to redeem man, he says, Moors of North America need to know the higher self and the lower self. Well, if you're going to learn of the higher self and the lower self, and then that grand sheet don't take you to, to Kabbalah, Kabbalah, philosophy, then he's not teaching you the keys to how to know yourself. And only telling you these things because these are keys that all priests know. It, it doesn't matter whether they Muslim, Jew, Christian. They all know. So it gives them their title. And it's a hard knot because people keep thinking that because these people are from different houses that they're dealing with different knowledges. And it's not true. They're dealing with different angles of presenting the knowledge. You understand? And so what it has, they have a bunch of followers who are defending them when actually they're robbing the people. All of them. This is why Dwali referred to them as useless cumbers of society. But of course it's difficult if you present that to people who follow these people because they will come to their defense. That's why they murdered them. That's why they wanted to murder the Nazarene. People said, who do you think you are? And he came to their rescue them. So they look like the devil, and it was actually organized religions that are actually the murderers. Even to this day, even when they talk about the intended assassination of the Nazarene, you'll see the people in the houses keep pointing at this devil that they don't see. That to keep their eyes off that these organized religions were the real murderers. That they were the real plotters with Rome. They were partners with Rome. And Rome partners with them. So it's a, it, it's sort of like a, a, a it's a little bit uncomfortable to be blunt about what they've really done with the people because the people themselves are sensitive, sponsors, and defensive of them. And so the very and so the very people that are screwing the people got on the holy rules. And see, the mystery devil, who you never seen, he's easy, you know, they're going to kick his butt next Thursday, 2 o'clock, be there, and all that stuff. And the deal, and they're the demons. Then that's, you add that to our own demons. Those who don't know the higher self and lower self. You see? And so, I'm, I'm, I'm giving this as a base, because I already know that, like, like with Europeans, and then a lot of your uh, Asiatics are uh, threatened by this information. 
and we're putting out counter information because of the time. So we're countering them, knowing what they're going to do. Right? And we'll take this a little further in the future. And this is why uh, now the Resh in, in Ibri, that Resh, you'll see it. So like that, looks like a reverse R. Just like the spinal cord. And this is like the medulla. Now in, in Persia, in ancient Persia, and uh, Peru, that you call India, which is Peru, um, which is the same culture. This would, the activation of Rish would be Kundalini. In so-called Christianity, and you understand, when you talk about Christianity, then you go to your Adam degree. Now, an Adam degree, uh, like a priest, knows that the Christian is actually Krishna. You understand? It's a Buddha degree. Now, you already know that reverends ain't going to tell people that because that they lose their power. Um, and all that relates to activating the seven chakras. You got hundreds, but the seven major chakras and activating the medulla. And that's just like a stem. And that rush. And this, this activation of this would represent the activation of what is called the fire in the circle seven. And the fire in the circle seven is you got two, two openings here, two openings there, two here, one there, seven in the circle. And the fire in the head, the activating it with the philosophies and studying the higher self and the lower self, the cause, the logical makeup. This is the reason why the Ibri alphabet is actually anatomical. It actually fits the body. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? The Yahweh is called a man, right? When you write um, Yahweh in uh, Hebrew, it forms a man. Yeah, well, let's express that in a minute. We're going to go, we're going to go with that. We're going to express that in a minute. Very important. And this, and, and, and like, say, for instance, like, um, because of the divisions that the leadership has played with the people, they'll act like the different cultures aren't related to your own culture. If you understand what they absolutely are. And that you need to know that. And this is why it's important to when you go back into um, the Renaissance, before colonialism in the Western Hemisphere, that uh, it confuses people who don't know real culture and history. And they say, well, why did the Moors build churches and cathedrals for the Europeans? When they were Hebrew, and the background of the culture beyond the symbolism is the same. And it is the Moors, the ancient Moabites, who founded religion, which is the study of the workings of nature. And so, yeah, huh? Yes. That's what cosmology is. And that is religion. And up, everything else they've been telling people is religion is not religion. Religion is a study of the cause and effect workings of nature, i.e. the zoo. You understand? And this is the reason why the anatomy, and also when it, when it says, you know, man, know thyself, all right? And so you take a different view when you look at, say, uh, as an example in chapter five, circle seven, right? And then you deal with the, even in like in the church when they talk about Jesus, there's a carpenter, right? And then that's the pivot, right? And then you see the square, right? What the priests know, this is what the priests know. You see? Huh? It takes out. It's the law. You understand? So when the Masons use our symbol, which is ours is ancient. Some people who don't know, who think that they Jews, Christians, Muslims, etc., don't know it belongs to them. So one of the keys to rulership is that they keep the people divided amongst each other by not teaching them the truth of symbolisms, nor their true origins. 
and also keeping the divisions going on. And that's why they get they they promote beliefisms and keep the people on the level of belief. And if they rise a little bit, they give them some faith, and that's where they lock them. But they already know that all the masters know that that is shunned. It is no different than when you go into the ritual of ablution, when you're going to make salat. The ablution represents, by symbolism, you getting the dirt off of you, coming with a clean mind. But the real ritual is only symbolic of you shedding your beliefs and shedding faith and walking to fruition with one man and Allah are one. You, you see? That's what that really, really means. That's what the ritual means. But yet that's not what's for. And the ritual has become the religion. And it was we've perfected the rituals and the truth or the science behind them have gone lost except amongst the leadership. And rather than clean the people up, they have them breaking into a whole bunch of sects, even divided against themselves so they can control and live off of them. And the devil is the myth that they've created to keep the people fighting the mystery while they live off the wealth of people in the physical plane. While discouraging the people to recognize that by always referring to the spirit realm, not being of this world. Meanwhile, you are taking all your stuff down. You, you, you understand what I'm saying to you? And they're doing it in the churches, in the mosques, and the synagogues to different degrees. They're doing the same thing. And yet all of them, so when so when our people see somebody say they're Muslim, they think that they don't relate to this. It's a lie. You understand? And when you see somebody that says, say there's a Jew and he don't relate to the crest and the star, that's a lie. They do certain things for the public, but in secret they got all five symbols. I saw law and master. And uh, uh, subsequently the master seal. And the master seal is of course that glyph. When you see that glyph, and that's the master seal with the three, 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 three. That's the master seal. And of course you know in physics and geometry that this is the glyph of the earth, or what is called the mundane cross. Now these things are redundant, but they're important for you to understand because when you see this, you also recognize certain seven. So these are three, three. See, that's also, see that, circle seven, the activation of this. So now, if you're not an addict or a priest, you wouldn't recognize the relationship unless it was taught to you. And that teaching of the symbolism back to the science is what the duty and responsibility of addicts and priests are, to see that the people rise above belief. Because, like for instance, in religion, the trinity, of the development, just like in education, you know, like say the three the Trinity, reading, writing, arithmetic, they are just simple, but it's still the Trinity or a symbol of the equilateral pyramid as a symbol of civilization on the earth, the third rock from the sun, three dimensions, mother, father, son, the holy trinity, the, the whole principles on the threes. And so that's why symbolically when they're raising people in the secret societies, they use symbolically three candlelights, three candlesticks. If you understand. And the first one representing belief and its and its reflection is neophyte. And the second one is faith and its reflection is scholar. And the third one is fruition and its reflection reflection is master. And so all your imams, your priests, your high priests, your reverends, your grand chiefs, your adepts, all have the third light. And when they go to the third light, the second and the first light are put out. 
because it's an essential. So just like if you if you graduate and you go into university, not that you don't visit your kindergarten teacher and your grade school teacher if you just happen to pass, but it's not in your venue to be going back to elementary school and talking about, I just need to get back here and, and just refresh myself and something more. You, you're supposed to have graduated. That's for the children. You know, and, 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 and when you get to your master's degree, you're supposed to put away your childless things. But if you recognize in dogma, they have kept adults in the first two lights, in, in belief, in grade school, and, and basic elementary. Even then, having really clarified it to them. And this is where, that leaves that gray area where they can create a bunch of confusion, a bunch of misinformation. They can make thrones for themselves and divert their corruption on the mystical devil. Of course, nobody ever sees them, but it works. They even raise money to kick his ass. You understand what I'm saying? Allah said it, Jesus said it, Prophet Muhammad said it, and it works. Meanwhile, the people, they, they working their butt off to kick the mystery devil's butt, right? And all these heads is, is, is walking in silk robes or nice suits close to Armani, if it's Lane Armani. Nice pieces, parishes, or nice pearl houses, stuff like that. And the, the, the devil, the devil did it. And it's been working. You know, and, and, and now once a true, a true teacher reveals the secrets, because that's why they give them the titles. The titles belong to the people. Always belong to the people. This is the reason why you see a lot of people get uncomfortable if somebody reads chapter 29 and going grand. At least amongst the leadership. You understand what I'm saying to you? Because unless the people know that the sovereign power that's used by them belongs to the people. Yes, because that comes from Muslim law. This is the reason why they upset with Obama when he signed the rights of indigenous people. And before then, he went to, uh, he cooked up to Egypt and told the world that the United States Constitution came from Muslim law. Meanwhile, Michelle goes to the Alhambra, the last stronghold of the Moors. You know what signals that sent to Europeans. That's, not, that's why no matter what they say, the Europeans say he Muslim. But they're not talking ritual. They're talking the real politics. There ain't nothing he can say because they already know. And plus, he's a constitutional lawyer. Hey, his office has to be there. See, because under the U.S. democracy, corporations have been living a socialist system while the people have been paying the bills. Here come Obama with this health care thing, take that socialist system that has been unconstitutional and convert it to help the people. They're pissed. It's unconstitutional. Yes. But it was helping, it was spotted to help the people, which means the corporations would a lot of lost a lot of finance. They would have had to convert a lot of that finance they've been raping the people for all these generations and actually give the people help and not be able to deny them. And if they didn't have any money, they still have to give it to them. You know, so when you're looking at the politics, you gotta look at, you gotta really understand the reality of the politics to understand the Europeans' uh, re uh, uh, responses to Barack Obama. And it doesn't mean that that healthcare system of uh, imposed contract is, is correct. It's not. It's not constitutional. It is. If you understand, but the problem has been the thing that got this country into the shape is that they've been operating unconstitutional. It's just been one side, if you get the point. But again, the the, um, the corruption of, of religion uh, with dogma, or the substituting of religion with dogma, has plied or prepared the people for that corruption that they're suffering from, which is totally all connected. And, and so people don't recognize it as being corrected. This, this is also why it's important for, for people to understand that the uh, 501 C3 tax exempt status that quote unquote religious organizations use is because they're really not religious organizations. I'm making myself very clear. 
The 501c3 tax exempt status used by religious organizations is used because they're not really religious organizations. They're private businesses working for the Jesuits. Because true, true, and this is very clear, you must understand this, the true religious organization does not require a 501c3 for tax exempt status. Their status holds that the tax doesn't apply, period. But the 501c3 is an agreement with the Jesuits of Rome not to rock the boat with the politics that's thoroughly corrupt. Because they're, that and the church is connected. If you get the whole point. And so, you can understand again, we're not justifying that. But you can understand, again, the compromission that a lot of these priests, rabbis, reverends all have that goes unspoken. is because they're working for the Jesuits and they don't want people to know that. Because blind faith is key for the people to keep giving up their finance, supporting these institutions that have never done them any good, but have always harmed them. Islam. Um, I-D-R-H-I. Hebrew. That's what you call Hebrew. That's what they say, Hebrew or Jew. That's us. So we're not Hebrew. Well, you can, yes. Yes. But Jew comes out of Hebrew. And so does Hebrew and Jew. You know, this, uh, again, when you see in, in, in the heliotech when it says, you know, those claim to be Jews but are not Jews, well, that's true. At the same time, Jew ain't Jew, because it ain't no J in Hebrew. If you understand what I'm saying to you, but Adams all know that. Adams all know that. I mean, it, it's, let me put it another way. If we're all sitting here, we're Adams, like say, for instance, Nabi's rabbi, right? And she's a shaykh. He's a shakun. He's a PhD. He's a grand sheik. You're a sheikah. We do our work with the groups that we deal with. Together here in a closed house, we got the same knowledge. And we already know the relationship between the different symbols. We already know that this. Y'all got this? We'll show you an example. This. Dream catcher. As those of you know a little bit of your tribal culture here with Ibri, with Cherokee, Blackfoot, etc., Dreamcatcher. This. Same thing. 
Now, all rulers know this. We understand this. All heads of industry know this. All potentates and secret societies know this. All Adams know this. All Grand Sheiks know this. All Imams know this. All high priests know this. All Shakams know this. But the followers are not to know this. Because you can't control them. If they know the truth, they'd be free from you. Are we clear? So now let's talk about the workings of this, right? Right? So, now keep this in mind. This symbol has a name. It's called Coptic Cross, isn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. So where did Coptic Cross from? Coptic Cross. Here you go. That's where it comes from. What's it cooked up? Misra'im, that you call Egypt. Now you see why they say the, the old Ethiopians have this process with it. And then the first Christian adaptation. This is so this symbol would be on your earliest, earliest churches. And this would be called the circle. This would be called the circle. Now, now remember, as we opened up, I'm showing you relationships. Alright? What is the name? of circle in in German. Old High German. Say it. Church. Yes. Church. That's what church means. So now would the reverends tell them that church means circle? Because they'd have to tell them some more, wouldn't they? And I'm only telling you that to get to give you some insight on what you'd be thinking that these sheiks and these Christian minds trace them. So therefore you must know your will. So the, the, the believers don't see the wheel here. They 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 don't see the making of the wheel with the compass. And they don't see the crossing with the square. If you but yet they're carpenters tools. And yet behind them all is geometry and math. You, you see what I'm saying? But then that geometry and math is related to the body, the anatomy of the body, which is also why I left rush there. Because there's a whole philosophy just in this letter that's to be taught. That is the activation of that fire that's in the circle seven in the head. It's like an ember. And the activation of that brings about the higher consciousness that is called the ascension. Which is why you're given Kabbalistic instruction to know yourself. And all of the instructions that the one they called Jesus gave are all Kabbalistic instructions. Which is why he reached the Christ degree. Do you understand and so once you understand that and know that, being Muslim and being Ibri, you're not contentious to that because you know that's your culture. But if you're in the clubism, you would separate from that because you think it has nothing to do with you. Which is the design for the divisionism. This is where your sectalism comes in. And so all of these rulers can rule over the people, keep their fighting against each other. While they themselves have the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And so long as they can point to the mystery of the devil, they can rule. And that's what's been going on. That's what makes the Moorish Divine National Movement unpopular with leadership. Not necessarily with people, with the leadership. This is why they keep confusion going on, particularly amongst Adams, some of them who are working for J. Edgar Hoover. Do you understand? And so, like somebody looking from the outside, they, they see what they see, think is division. 
and it is, but it ain't what, what they really think it is, is that some people don't want these people raised. You understand know what I'm saying? And the few that do, don't usually get rich. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? And if they give the information, what it does, it frees people from that. And so therefore, they're a threat. This is the reason why they will attack the character, they do the character assassination, then they take the body. You, you understand? And this is also symbolically why it would have been wiser, for instance, If you can also look at that compass. It'd been wiser if that 33 degree mason is still signifying about the mountaintop where it just came out and told the truth. You understand know what I'm saying? When, when, when the threat was signaled. But vanity and concern for one's ego, you know, is possible. Ego is possible because the, the true spiritual development, you slay the ego. You see? Now, so if someone is given those degrees, they already know those rules anyway. And they would decide whether or not do they love the people. Are they really trying to help the people, or are they trying to help themselves at the expense of the people, which is what our problem is, what it has been. And so people have been given a lot of symbols and never really explained to them. See, because when you tell them the truth about it, what happens is it makes them equal to the masters. And then many of them already have what you call activated pineal, and they go further and do greater works than the master who teach them. But that's what's supposed to be done. Because the title belongs to the people and the people alone. You know, and so what has happened is that they've made a whole business of this whole thing. This is the reason why the Nazarene went and turned over the tables of the money changers. The same principle exists and exists. Same argument. You know, so if you understand those things, you would have graduated from them long ago and have been long ago using your carpenter's tools as in chapter five of the workshop of the mind, character building, which is really what religion is. And not all that ritual. All the ritual is only symbols of the actual workings of activating bliss, as you get the point from. When that is understood, it ain't complex. You understand? Then you can take the Bible, Take Koran, take the Vedas, take the philosophy, the Hexatol. How you doing, brothers? Hexatol. And you take all those books and understand them. Now, the deal is when you get the philosophy, and you, you get the philosophy, then you're able to work with those tools. You know what I'm saying? Then this is where it talks about where, where the Nazarene said he came, and then he was uh, administering with Yusuf. And they wrought like carpenters. You understand? Now, the deal of it is, is that if you're in this degree, if you're in this degree, you don't reject this degree. Because you got them both. You understand what I'm saying to you? And so with the master, and so is with the, with the master seal. And so if you're in the tribe in Cherokee, when you say dream catcher, you already, the dream symbolizes the etheric world. The catching it is really being uh, capable of interpreting. But then you still got your your mundane cross. And so in physics, when you're dealing with physics and, and architecture, you would deal with the, that same principle. 
this is why, like, for instance, when you're dealing in politics, uh, they will tell you that um, no religious test is, is necessary for anyone to hold any a public trust or office. Why? Because the masses get dogged. Do, do you understand what central control? Do you understand? This is why you see all your leaders put on that show and tell that they're religious. They're not religious. They're religious privately, but what they give to the public is dogma. That's their control mechanism. Now, this is why you, like, you can go to Library of Congress and you'll see all five symbols in Islam. Right? I, self, law, and master. And that's 360 degrees. But yet, in, in the secret societies here, they will get to 32 degrees, which is frozen, still frozen. And that, that honorary degree, which is the 33, then you take the element of water and it begins to flow because it has melted. You've got to understand the symbolism. You, you understand it's elements and it's working. It. All right? Now, of course, there's actually more degrees in that, but that's only symbolic in the rituals. But again, when, when they're in the secret societies, one of the first lessons they'll give them is a root the law bitus. And of course, Ruth is Yahshua's great, great, great grandmother. And Moabite is the ancient name for Moors. People with hair like lamb's wool, skin like burnt grass, olive, olive complexion. But those are codes because they're the founders of civilization. It's also the bloodline of the inheritors of the land. You see, this is why when you go in your early dictionaries prior to 36, when you talk about Americans, they talk about the people. Or even, even when the Europeans were creating the aristocracy here, they would do what is called the paper bag test. In the paper bag test, they put the paper bag next to your pen to see if you're really American. But then they later on called with you black type thing, it's a brand. Because they're not Americans. You are. You know what I mean? And so the deal of it is that mental disconnection from the land allows them to start mixing, you understand, and, 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 and uh, that's why they would marry the women. As a matter of fact, that's why Ralph married Potentus Mataoka, and they took her to Graves in England and threw her overboard. Then came back and started the aristocracy in Jamestown, Virginia. And that's the foundation also of the Blue House masonry for these Europeans. Why they all wear the Moorish face when they're doing their rituals. The interesting thing is that these rituals have been preserved and they do it all the time. When you tell these people that they're Moors, they look at you like you're sick. And the Europeans got their crown. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So again, this is why that pyramid is the most important symbol in masonry. That pyramid and the fez. Those two symbols are the most important symbols in masonry on a symbolic level. And then, of course, you've got your York rights and your Scottish rights. So most of the Asiatics that come in, that come into Prince Hall, they become under Scottish rights. York rights, mostly Europeans. Now, the same knowledge with the different use of it. Now, in the houses where Asiatics are, they limit, they limit the knowledge that's exposed to them. And you'll see a lot of Asiatics going to these different societies, and they'll come back out still call themselves black, which is also why they're considered clandestine. And they go get this heavy knowledge and they come out and still call themselves black. They're fraud. Because they're given the keys. You understand? It's like, you know, it was a big church here, Sullivan, all them guys, all them Masons. They're in 33 year Masons. Jesse, Martin, all of them. Are we kidding? They know the truth. You understand what I'm saying? But if you have this conversation with them in the public, they deny it will play dumb while our people are suffering. Having them run around in circles and keeping hope alive while they were in three thousand dollar suits. And the corporations paying them to keep this fraud going on. And they know it. Like, the problem is that the masses don't know it. 
because they believe in these people. You might have to catch the 40 years. Nine times out of ten, they got some kind of preacher title. Yeah, I'm not saying they have talent. Often they get paid on both sides. And a 501c3 from the Jesuits. And see, so that's an agreement. And so when they violate that agreement, start speaking against the corruption, then they, then they do what? They restrict or remove their 501c3, then they got to pay taxes. But why do they have to pay taxes? They're a religious organization. Because it's not religion, it's dogma. You see the whole point? Because true religious organizations aren't subject to the taxes. You don't need any agreement not to pay the tax. But I'm only giving that to you as keys to give you an insight on how things are really operating around you. And when you see those things and when you when you're dealing with different people on different degrees, particularly if you're dealing with issues of, of contract, mortgages, loans, different issues in law, uh, understand what they know. When they know that you know these things, they treat you a little bit different with respect because they already know that you know better. But when they, think, when they know that you don't know or they think you don't know, they will play with you and screw you too, happily. And that's how, that's how this thing works. So again, when Raleigh came and he brought the site of Circle 7 to the Lord, he said, these lessons are for those who love Jesus. He says, do not lose, use them wrongfully, use them for good. The reason he's telling you because those are key lessons that were tailored from the ancient Akashic records. Europeans have it too, but they have it under the Aquarian Gospel. Do you, you understand? In all their secret societies. Same lessons. They just color them a little bit, but they still got the same lessons. And then, um, it is to take you out of the darkness or the mystery, and then take you into the knowledge of what's really up. All right? And of course, you already know that addict means expert. So when you see Adam and you see a PhD or Sheik, Shaku, Rabbi, Rabbi, Imam, they're all PhDs, doctors of philosophy. What is that philosophy? Kabbalah, the Vedas, the Book of the Dead, Medu Nadir. They all have it. That's what gives them their degrees. But if they were talking to their believers, they never talk on those degrees. They'll talk on your beliefs and your faith. You believe in Allah, you believe in the Lord, you believe in Jesus. And that's the degree they talk to the masses on. Then they collect their finances. While they got all these degrees and must master them. Everything is for graduation, if you understand. This is why even when when they graduate from school, right? When you're building character or you're building temples, right? It'll be like this and it is a stick that goes down like this to the center. And that's called a mortar board. And like when we're building buildings or something like that, we're building buildings like this, and we have a mortar board and we have a trowel. And you take and you butter up your mud, and then you run your mud, lay a line, and drop your brick. And that's called a mortar board, all right? When you graduate, this is the nickname for this cat for this cat is a mortar board. Represents Ma and Son. Isis and Horus. In Christianity, Jesus and Mary, same thing. Ma and Son and the philosophy, Kabbalah, behind it, which is what Masonry is. That's Masonry. You understand? Then it's broken into four pyramids. Those four pyramids are your circle. 
This is 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 360. 100%. Or full circle. So that's the mystery of the physics of the circle and the square, which is also symbolized in circumambulation when Muslims make the Hajj, the Kaaba, or make the, the, the Hajj and they go counterclockwise around Kaaba seven times, counterclockwise, seven times, counterclockwise, circle seven. You see? But it's a ritual. You understand? But yet, the Imams know that the ritual is circle seven and that the symbol is the science. So they got the people buried three degrees back. They perfect the ritual and then don't know the science. And they're cutting each other's throat because they broke up all the sex. They know Allah and nobody else dump type thing. Same way the Christians do. They got Jesus, nobody else do. And then they kill each other talking about love and everything that has absolutely nothing to do with spiritual development and absolutely nothing to do with true religion. It has everything to do with corruption. It does. Everything to do with corruption. And that corruption was promoted by the leadership. And what they have done to the masses, they blame on the devil, which is a myth. Which is also why they're not comfortable with chapter 8 of the seven sages. And why they don't read that to the people. Why? Why do, why do you see them resisting reading chapter 8 of the Circle 7 in the Book of the East of the Adam Chamber? Because it lets the people know that the priesthood is dead. They have no more light to offer the people. Meaning that they're useless cumbers on society now. Chapter 8. The Council of the Seven of the East. Seven Sages. And then you can take that chapter and then read your... Read... Before you read that chapter, pardon me, read your nationality part. Then read that chapter. And it'll give you some insight. But then you must go get that philosophy. And just like they chopped up Horus and scattered them around the world, it is the same principle. And the five prophets that Draw Lee put on your nationality card, you're to do what? Get the foundation of those philosophies, put them back together. Just like assembling the Horus, the sun. Thus, the eye that's on the trial. I'm just showing you how these things are connected and most people don't know it's connected. But if you're not told, you may not look at it. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir. But what, what that would do, that would lead you to the knowledge that would purge you of all the bull shitsky dwarf that you've been fed that caused you to maintain what you call a child mind. The minds of boys and girls when the rest of the world is dealing with civilization. That's why Drawley says, he says, teach those things necessary to make our people better citizens. You understand? Or the Bible, where the Bible says, you know, when you come up this knowledge, he says, and you take your childish things and you put them away. Which means you're not supposed to be in a belief degree when you're growing. If you're in a belief degree, something wrong with you. That's like me coming up to you, you know, saying, man, let me tell you, man, I don't care who don't like it. I'm in the first grade and the second grade, and I'm all proud and looking for you to be impressed. And confused when you're not. And this is pretty much how when you see people boasting about their religious beliefs, this is how they do it. But they don't know that that's what they're really saying. And they have this proud self-righteousness about themselves then, first and second grade. And should have long ago shed that. And then you got these sorcerers standing up there promoting that stuff like they're his protégés and he's so proud he didn't raise them up and save their souls and everything all he did is kept them in grade school and been sucking off of them knowing that they're supposed to be far beyond belief degree they don't even know if the belief is a degree they think that's their achievement and then give them a little bit of faith they know they've arrived 
It's going to shed both of them. There's another reason why they don't give them the book of because it tells, tells them that in faith, belief is lost. And in fruition, faith is lost, which means they just like shells, you get rid of them. I mean, you've outgrown you. You know, you know like when we was little, they don't do it much anymore. We used to take our take, take our shoes, mom take our shoes, and they, she'd have them coated in brass and put a picture, you know. And you say, they, you know, they my kicks, they my kicks right there. You know, but you don't go trying to put them on. I mean, it's still nice. I think all brassed up, they kind of nicer than they was when you had, but you don't go putting them on. And people don't know because the leadership has not told them the trinity of how education is properly exhibited or how dispensed, that it comes in trinity. And it comes with belief, faith, and fruition. And when you reach fruition, you suppose that faith and belief is no longer useful to you. It's useful for the children. That's, you don't get rid of it, but it's not for you. You're an adult. You what we're dealing with knowledge. You know, it's just like a... You know, children, they, you know, like when I was coming down on the train, I was in, kind of enjoying myself because these uh, three little boys, this sister had three little boys with her, and they was boasting, talking, one of them talking about, you know, he knows all his colors, and the other one is busting. They know their colors, and they were saying ABCs and everything. Some of them were wrong, but I was happy for them because they were working their thing out, you know what I mean? But they're babies. You know what I mean? I don't think none of them was over five or six, you know, and maybe one of them was about three, you know, and I was happy for them because I loved just watching them talk to each other, you know what I mean? But now if there was adults and stuff boasting, sitting there, I know all my colors, and, you know, I not exactly be impressed. <laughs> and, and our people really don't understand. That's how the world sees us when we sit around boasting about our religious beliefs. They already know we sick. The problem is we the only ones that don't know we are. You know, so other people come here from around the world, they already know the truth. You know, even when they come from poor countries. And so they make progress quite quickly. They even go get empty buildings that our people still walk past, don't even know how to handle, them. don't even know how to take care of any civic business whatsoever. Don't know what taxes apply to them, don't know what taxes don't apply to them. We just screwed. Everybody just sucks off of us. You know, meanwhile, we so proud and arrogant, we always try to prove how much belief we got. And they be believing our beliefs right onto the bank. You know what I mean? And go get that building that we've been walking past since we was going to school, and then sell our women their hair. That ain't theirs. You know, but we saved and a whole bunch of other things. Got this self-righteous, arrogant stuff about ourselves. I mean, and then you start dealing with us with facts, and we start debating on who we follow. It's interestingly sick however it's been working you know for opportunists and i say that again i repeat that again which is the reason why drew ali set up the adam chamber to resolve this matter that's why like you see on the authority when you're on authority also the certificate of uh, he says you know they were given those positions to what to promote the learning of muhammad you got to pay attention to even the words that he used. It's a whole different level of degrees, but it's not taught properly. So people think, you know, going through ritual religion, the way they think they think it, they get it. But that's the only way you can come at them, because they're spooked. But when you get to the app degree, you already know that stuff is just old. For people that either weak-minded or just don't know how to count, or just can't deal with reality or refuse to deal with reality. And thus, in society, when people aren't willing to use their intelligence to solve problems, a yoke is put on them as beasts of burden and are not treated no different than animals of the field. Of course, they are also trained because they do have power to have responses, so they're trained that is racism, and so they run around arguing about racism and actually birthright theft. And that has worked too. But the, again, the atoms were here, were put in place to solve that, to kill that mystery too. But I don't have to tell you that they haven't been doing it. You know what I mean? And so again, this is another reason why I'm presenting this to you, to 
show you the connectivity, the relativity of all this stuff that you may think. I know most of you don't, but most of you know better, but for some people, not knowing that the relativity of that into the civil realm is absolutely true. And that there is no separation of church and state. That's only for the, you know, that's for the people to believe for control purposes. You know, and those who rule know that too. They know that absolutely. You know, but of course, if they would say that, they may say that sometime making political statements or brownie points, but they will never express that in, in a manner that makes it absolutely clear to their followers because then the followers might start looking at them. <laughs> and then start, I go, brother, and then start asking about that 501c3 they got. Yeah, oh, see, what I'm what I'm doing is that I'm bringing in the connection of religion, dogma, and politics, which are all operative, and the need and the necessity for those in political power to know this while they don't speak it. In other words, basically what I'm just simply unfolding is what has been traditionally called the Masonic secret. You understand? And, and showing the relationship. And the 501c3 is an agreement with the Jesuits of Rome. You understand? Who owns the U.S. Democracy Corporation, which is a substitute for the United States Republic. But knowing that certain people have the mentality of children that they don't know the difference. Thus, fiat in place of the dollar. Bills of trade, bills of exchange in place of fair tr trade contract. You understand what I'm saying? Deeds of trust in place of true trade. And it works for Adults who have the mentality of boys and girls, which is why they refer to most persons who are they refer to as Negro, Black, and Colored as boys and girls, because their mentality state is just exactly that. But of course, their arrogance and their self-righteousness doesn't allow them to see themselves. But that keeps the system safe. Because they've got this self-righteous attitude, they refuse to accept that they're ignorant. That is, the problem is, ain't them, everybody else don't know that they're saved, that's what the problem is, in their mind. And in the world, everybody else running to the bank. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the real world, while they sitting around talking about how saved they are, and they know Jesus and Allah, and nobody else do, and the Prophet Muhammad, they makes a lot, and nobody else do. People come from a business stand and go get a building that, that's empty since we was going to school, and sell them their hair and their toilet paper next week and not burdened with Negro taxes. That these people don't even know that they got Negro taxes. They don't even know that they're paying Negro taxes. Why? Because they say they got Jesus. You can't tell them that. They're free. And you can't even tell them because they'll fight you. So a civilized person coming from a nation is not going to sit there and argue with these people when they keep selling out their own people anyway. And if somebody come tell the truth, they'll sell them out to Rome anyway and then put their pictures up and talk about how great they were, like Duali, Malcolm X, Jesus, the whole line of them. They worship dead people. They don't deal with reality. Now, that's what the real world knows about us. However, you know that we don't see the world seeing us that way. We got this arrogance. See, we're the strong black man with big wieners, and everybody's scared of us. They don't want the black man to know himself. He's laughing all the way to the bank. You're all the way to the bank. Every week, weekly, including with their overseers that's sitting in the house of God. God. They don't even know God's a doing, not a being. So it, it's, all, it's, all, it's almost like, it, 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 you know, it's why it's like civilized people come to this country, even people that don't know the language, two minutes with our people and they get the idea that we don't want nothing. And it's not really true, is that we don't know ourselves. We don't know 
the reality of how this thing runs. And you can't tell us because we got this self-righteousness that we were taught. You know, this idea that we're saved and no one else is. God made us and they in the Lord and all, everything but reality. And so that keeps the rulers safe. Our arrogance keeps wisdom away. <laughs> it does. Because when you present it to us, we shut down. Because it doesn't fit our beliefs. The aunt. The aunt. The aunt. The aunt. Now the ankh is a cross too. That's a uterus, fallopian tubes, birth canal, the matriarchy nature of civilization itself, the matriarchy nature of life, of this universe, of this earth, symbol of rulership on the planet. But because the Asiatics start following after the idol god worship systems of Rome, they want to deny the matriarchy principle in the relationship between Aleph and Beth. Back to even being able to accentuate flesh. Therefore, when the Asiatics get into what they call Afrocentric culture, they go into it with a patriarchal mind, which is in violation of divine laws of nature, which means it can't work for us because of our arrogance. Because they want to use the word or the password Jesus to worship the popes of Rome and act like that ain't really what they're doing. And they don't want people to pull them to the table and tell them that they're really worshiping Rome. And we know they're worshiping Rome. And they are in thorough and total dishonor of their mothers and fathers pretending to be black when they know they are mole by blood. That's what the problem is. But they want birthright. They want the benefit of the birthright, but they don't want to honor their mothers and fathers. But the rest of the civilized world don't come here calling human beings crayons. When people think people with crayons is people with mentality of boys and girls wearing deep pants. And they wonder why the civilized world rejects them. And accuse the civilized world of racism when there's only one race on the planet called the human race. They're broken up into nationalities, but they don't want to honor their mothers and fathers. They want to be black. That's why they got the black codes. Then they accuse the world of taking advantage of them when actually they're violating the law themselves. And it's just like, you know, we're playing football, right? I smack you upside the head with, your, with my helmet. Then the ref comes in there and he calls foul. But you get pissed and you smack me back. Now we both out the game. That's the same principle. You get the point? And so our people keep thinking that they can call themselves names that they are not, but get the rights of humanity. They can only be listed under 14th Amendment as Christian property in Delaware as private foreign corporations doing business on the land that makes them taxable and a license, the rights of indigenous people. I mean, what what else can he do? What's he supposed to do, lay himself on the table for them to slay him as some kind of slaughter lamb? For these Negroes that don't want to be themselves? You see the point? And in all the law, it says what? In, our, in, front, in, in, in part one, article five, people have a right to a nationality. And in the charter, and it says this information is supposed to be distributed by the churches, all non-governmental organizations, all civic groups. Are they telling these people about nationality? Nope. They're watching, they're watching them roast Obama every opportunity they get. And then trying to act like we need to do more for them. And he signed the rights of indigenous people, backing up everything Nova Drawley said. And as a matter of fact, it's so obvious that anybody that knows law recognizes it immediately why the European keep calling him Muslim. No matter how many times he say he's Christian. Because the Europeans looking at it from politics. He ain't looking at some of these emotions. He knows the real politics of his land. You understand the problem of it is we keep trying to be Negroes. You understand? And so when we look at when we look at Hexalpha, Crescent and the Star, Master Seal, Seal Pyramid, they're all ours. And when we start separating them, then we get lost in the game. That's why whenever they're in the secret societies, they get all of it. 
because that's what makes them rule. That's what gives them their power. You understand? And so for the masses, they got to keep you divided against each other so that you can think that don't belong to you when it does. You understand? And the one here think this don't belong to them when it does. You understand? The one here think that don't belong to them when it does. Just because we Cherokee, if you don't know that that's Circle 7, then you don't know the culture. You understand what I'm saying to you? And when you're doing the ritual of the Hodge, if you don't know that Circle 7, then you don't know the culture. See, so what has happened is that they, they, the people are caught up in the perfection of rituals, and the rulers are caught up in the perfection of Kabbalah, the knowledge. So they rule, the dummies pay the bills. You understand? And then when they wake up a little bit, they just make a new sect and have them cutting each other's throat, talking about how much they love Allah and Jesus. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? And this is how it's worked. And so when you, like when you look at the surface, you'll see it's like say the, the, um, the Saudis, right? Now they Muslim, right? And then you see them, there's Christians over here, they talking trash and everything, right? And in secret, they're all part of a brotherhood. And the masses cutting each other's throat. Meanwhile, they're making deals with these Europeans who's the gin, oil, and they living on our land, working off our birthright. And we be thinking they got different beliefs. That's for the surface, that's for the dummies, the bill payers, the war fodder. In other words, they the fodder for the war. You understand? Do you know that the Klan's charter book is Quran? How many people knew that? You dag one right there. And if you ever see their, their uniform, Excuse it, it's like an iron cross though. Yeah. It's still circle seven. But on the surface, there's a political fight going on. But in the philosophies, they got the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? The issue is who rules and who gets the benefit. You get, you get the point. The resource benefit. You understand? So like, I want a tassel for my fist. My tassel start unraveling, <coughs> right? Hmm? Do I go down to the mosque or the temple to get it? I'll go do some Yiddish Jew and he'll give me my Moorish fez. Because he got one too, secretly. Because that's what rules the planet. You want to order? Go get your fez. You want, you want to get into your spiritual colors? Some Yiddish claim to be a Jew that's not a Jew sell to you. You want to stay in constitutional law? Go to Alexandria, Virginia. And go look at George Washington's compass in the square and his fez and his apron with the eye of Allah on it. Same thing with Jefferson, Ben Franklin, John Adams, the whole crew. And that constitution is Muslim law. I mean, if you understand these things, you understand the politics. If you don't understand these things, you don't know the politics, because your concepts will always be wrong, usually blinded by your own biases that were created. Keep you in check.